Good morning. Tomorrow morning, as part of our Sunday time of worship, you'll be hearing from an interview I had with Andy Byrne, pastor of the Upper Room Christian Fellowship in West Lafayette. We talked about community mostly and what it means for the church to be a family, but at the end, I asked him to share his most important lesson from 2020. And what he said is perfect for our devotional time today. So I thought I would play it for you now, because I think this will encourage you as we continue on with our 21 days of prayer. Let me invite you to listen to what Pastor Andy says about something that you need to buy. Um, I've got one final question. Yeah. Uh, I know you don't know the people of Lafayette Community Church too yeah. well, um, but they're people who love Jesus. Yeah. They want to love him more. Yeah. They want to represent him more. And so you can have a general idea of who they are yeah. and who God is leading them to be. Based on 2020, yeah. what is the most important thing that you want the people who watch this video to take away? Something from your heart, something about uh, the community that you've experienced this last year or anything else, what would you say is the most important hindsight is 2020 lesson yeah. that you'd like to share with the people who watch this video? Yeah. So if you're a member of Lafayette Community Church, or actually if you're just listening to this, I want you to buy a magnifying glass. And I want you to carry it around in your pocket or put it on your desk. They make paperweights that are magnifying glasses. Um, and I want you to view that uh, as a, a lesson from the year 2020 because we need to magnify the Lord mm. above and beyond any other thing in our lives or in our country and uh, I want it, it's not just magnifying there's several parts of that word and so there's magnifying that it brings it into focus so this year, I'm going to have to start wearing reading glasses. Uh, and that brings things, those are magnifying glasses, that brings mm -hmm. things into focus that, that should be in focus. And when you put on reading glasses, everything else kind of looks fuzzy, yeah. except for, for what you're focused on. And it also is the idea that what we're focused on, obviously being Jesus Christ as, as believers. And as we're more focused on him, he becomes bigger. So you put a magnifying glass on something that it, it becomes bigger. And I think that we've learned, uh, and I'm hoping that we've learned and continue to learn that those fuzzy things, that those get stripped away. Hmm. That the Lord uh, is doing a, a good work. He's coming back for a church, a bride that is spotless and, and without blemish. And I think those spots and those blemishes are the the things surrounding what should be making him bigger. Hmm. And um, I, I think as uh, we look forward as a group of believers, whether it be at Lafayette Community or, uh, or at the Upper Room or anywhere in this community or really anywhere in the state or even the country, I hope that we're so focused on Christ that we begin to see the fruit grow from that like love and joy and peace and you know we we talk about uh the fruits of the spirit we talk about uh, the beatitudes the type of attitudes that we're going to have if we're focused on the periphery if we're focused on those things that are a little bit fuzzy on the outside we're not going to bear that kind of fruit mm -hmm. and so my challenge to myself to our church and i'll spread it out to lafayette community church um, is to, to magnify the Lord. Uh, look up uh, on Google or on your concordance the word, you know, magnify Bible verses and just read through those. I think if we're magnifying the Lord, we're going to be on the right track to bear the kind of fruit that, that he would want us to bear. That's a good word. Um, one of my favorite Bible verses on magnify yeah. doesn't actually have the word magnify in it. <laughs> it's the one where Jesus says, if I am lifted up, yeah. then I will draw all men towards myself. Yeah. And I just love that picture that Jesus says um, to predict his own crucifixion. Yeah. That as he is lifted up from the earth as a, on the cross, right. people will then be drawn towards him. But I also see it as a testament to when the church lifts him up in worship, yeah. when they lift him up in honor. And one of these days when he comes in glory, yeah. people will be drawn 
to yeah. the risen Christ. Yeah. And I hope and that John the Baptist, who says he must increase and I must decrease, is another great. It doesn't have magnify. I know we need to do all of them. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't have the word magnify in it, but John the Baptist saying Jesus increases and I decrease is another great verse that that really I think would do us well to to focus on. That's a good word. Yeah. Thank you so much. Today, let's be people who love to see Jesus become greater even if that means we become less. Let me encourage you to join us tomorrow morning when you'll hear more from Pastor Andy. Thanks for joining us today. We'll see you virtually tomorrow.